Hey, what's going on? It's V from V Lawrence Harrow. Thank you so much for joining me for another pick a card reading. This one is on who is coming towards you and what are they offering you? So we have pile one with the smoky quartz. Pile two, we have the green prosperity quartz. And pile three, that's for pile two, sorry, pile two. Pile three, we have the pink rose quartz. So um, please do take a moment with your intuition to decide which pile you think holds your message. And I always invite you to uh, close your eyes and try to collect your thoughts, push them aside. <sighs> and when you open your eyes, which one really pulls you into its energy? One, two, or 3D timestamps are always below. And if you want to watch the full video, freaking awesome. Don't forget um, to subscribe and let me know that you visited by leaving a comment below. I also have a pick a card playlist if you're looking for my videos. And I also do personalized readings. Everything's always below for your reference. All right, so let's get into this. Pile one, you're gonna be first with the smoky quartz here. And we're gonna put these aside and come to them a little later. Okay, so pile one, thank you so much for choosing the smoky quartz. Let me know how you're doing and what you're up to. All right, let's figure this out. So we're gonna get into the who. Who is coming towards you and what are they offering? Is it love? Is it friendship? Is it drama? What, 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 is, what, what is it? What, what's about? What, what is it about? So if you're new, please subscribe. If not, thank you for returning. Don't forget to interact with us in the comments so I can keep you in mind for future readings. I do personal readings and I also have a pick a card playlist with more in there. So you have news media, reporter, journalist, videographer, producer, guilty pleasures, so who's coming towards you? This is someone who's watching you, so who watches your social media. Guilty pleasures. <laughs> they find happiness, joy, thrill in watching your social media. It's probably one of their favorite pastimes. Um, this can be someone you work with. This can be someone who has a large following. Also, this can be someone who works in the public eye. Or well, maybe behind the scenes, you do have the videographer. We have the 30s card here. We have the Page of Swords. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. This is someone who's uh, who has their eyes on you. And they're coming in your direction. They're coming in your direction. They're like, I want to know what you are all about. I'm nosy. I want to be in your life. Page of Swords energy. Page of Swords, news media. So they're probably like all in your grill. I'm sorry, all in your, your business. So uh, the Page of Swords, just think of the scholar or someone who's just very nosy, very curious. Um, violence, love. So this person could just be a little bit um, aggressive. Not, not like, it, it could be in a violent way. Or it can just be, you know, when they want something, they make it known. They're very aggressive, persistent, determined. Uh, and to you, it might be like, oh my gosh, you're coming on too strong. Um, but that's just how they function. So it could be like a little bit too like, ah, in your face, too overwhelming this person. But you know, keep in mind that you have their free will and you have the power to, to turn your, your eye the other way, your head the other way. You don't have to engage in this if you don't want to. Okay, you also have fascinated. That's what I'm saying. Like this person is really interested in you. They're probably looking at all the notifications to see if any updates from you come through. Okay, next one is La Sandia Watermelon. Watermelon sugar, hi. Okay, what are they offering you? So um, we're getting into the who. What are they offering you? This is Page of Swords. I guess that's also part of the who. The violent love, fascination, um, coming towards you in the fast fast way page of swords with the knight of swords so page of swords of the violet love that can be like the knight of swords go for it ask questions later la sandia for um what they want to offer you this is something sweet they want to offer you 
Very enticing, very interesting. A slice of something. A piece of the pie, a piece of them. This is someone who has like some kind of sexual attraction towards you. Like, look at that inside of the watermelon. That looks very, very appealing, very attractive, very enticing. And then you got the, the fascinated bug here who wants to go in there. I thoroughly explore my interests. Page of Swords, absolutely guilty pleasures with the La Sandia, the watermelon cupcake. I feel like this person wants to offer you something very tasty. <laughs> this person has their eyes, sexual eyes for you. Oh my gosh. What else are they offering you? You have spaceship. Don't be afraid to sing. So this person, okay, so maybe this is like saying, don't be afraid. You got the violent love. That can just be that they're very aggressive, persistent. They move fast. They're like the Knight of Swords. So to you, you might be like, oh my gosh. You know, just imagine seeing a, a bull come towards you. you. The first thing you're going to do is going to be like, you, the first thing that you're going to do, hold on, let me pull, clean this energy. The first thing that you want to do is run, run for the hills. Like, oh my gosh, this bull, this bull wants to, to attack me. But in fact, the bull is very, like, triggered by X, Y, and Z. So this person is probably very triggered by your beauty. Triggered by you to, to see what's inside that flower. Oh my gosh, that didn't sound right. You know what I mean? Don't be afraid to sing. So I could say, uh, keep being yourself. Don't be afraid of this, you know, this person who's very adamant in getting to know you. But, you know, also keep your guard up. Don't put your guard all the way down. This person, you know, could be a little aggressive and maybe territorial as well. Marking territory. Guilty pleasures. This person, that, there's like some kind of sexual chemistry here. So just make sure that you're being very cautious. You're not putting your guard all the way down. You see how they're holding hands here? So make sure you're, if you're meeting this, if you're meeting someone new, or if someone's trying to entertain you or slide in your direct messages and they want to meet you all of a sudden and you know make sure that you know them make sure that you're not being catfished be them like the page of swords be very inquisitive uh, find the answers get your own answers here page of swords looking looking this way then you have this videographer looking that way um, so be on the same page um, so yeah, travel with your, if you're going to be meeting this person, I do feel that there might be some kind of travel in the works. You have this spaceship, you have this woman who's high up on the swing, you have this uh, lady with her, her crow mask, she's on top of the cliff, um, you have this ladybug on top of this flower, you got them up in space, so there might be some travel. This person might be traveling towards you. Okay, let's see. Pot number one, what is this person offering you? What do they want to offer you? This person here. You have the wheel, wheel of fortune. They want to get lucky. They want to order, offer, offer you something good, something pleasurable. You got the guilty pleasures. You got the wheel of fortune. So this is good, something good. But it can be something good for them. I'm not sure if it's good for you, but we'll keep going. What do they want to offer you? You got copper, energy, flow, wealth, communication. So they do want to communicate with you. Some messages. They want to see what's going on with you. Very fascinated in your life. You have tropical orange, enthusiasm, delight, and fascination. Oh, okay, you got fascination and uh, clarifying the fascination card here. So it says right there, fascination, fascinated. So um, they definitely want to offer you interest. They want to offer you something that is going to interest you. Like, hey, you want to you go out for a date? Hey, you want to get to know each other? You want to get lucky? Hey, let's go for a bite to eat. Hey, you know? Let's exchange energy, energy flow. Hey, are you interested in me? Hey. King of Swords, I restrain my feelings for you, but please know I do care. So, King of Swords, so this is someone who really cares deeply about you. Ace of Cups, they have feelings for you. So, this is what love feels like. I'm so excited. So, fascination, excitement. You also have, um, we both need time to think about what we want, the hanged man. And, oh, that's interesting. Hold on. Okay, look, more cups. Chalice, cup. Anything else? Knight of Cups. All right, and you got youth, spontaneity, and caution. 
So before uh, I finish wrapping this up, I will let you know what decks we're using. A lot of people like to ask me in the comments or privately on Insta Instagram what decks I use on my pick cards. This is the Who, the, I'm sorry, the Occupations deck, the dollar sign, the question sign is the Who. You have my 53 Shades of Love, black and pink. You got Colorology. Uh, this is a uh, lovely Sharon Julian's uh, Midnight Oracle, also on Etsy. You got my uh, Tarot of the Heart, Tarot of My Heart on Etsy. And uh, everything else will be linked below. They're either on Amazon or independent creators. Um, so Tarot of My Heart is also for sale on Etsy and Instagram, eBay. Check out my little uh, box that I have here somewhere. All right, so... Um, you, wow. Okay, so to, for starters, you, you basically have a love interest. I'm just going to tell you like it is. Love interest with a lot of offerings, a lot of cups, a lot of... You got eight chalices. You know, ace, you can think of that as the Ace of Cups or the King of Cups. Uh, you got the Ace of Cups. You got the Knight of Cups. That can be the Queen of Cups as well. That can be the Page of Cups. That can be any, any kind of cup. But this is like some kind of uh, infatu infatuation, fascination for you. Deep feelings for you, they probably won't tell you right away, but they are strongly feeling this for you, and they probably want to see how you feel about them. Youth, spontaneity, caution, okay, so caution, like again with violence here, uh, just, you know, keep your guards up, know what you're getting into, make sure this person checks out, um, that make sure that, yeah, pay, be the page of sorts. Make sure you, you fact check. Make sure they, they are who they say you are, they are if, they, if you guys are corresponding on the internet. You have the hanged man with the, um, the hanged lady here on her swing. The colors are almost the same. You got blue peach, blue peach here. So it says the hanged man. We both need time to think about what we want. 30, so you considering what you want. Do you want to approach this person? Do you want to accept their friend request, etc., etc.? They are watching your social media for sure. I do get that strongly. Or they're watching you from across the street or from, I don't know, your person's... Uh, it can be your next-door neighbor just having a crush on you or something like that. But anyway, they want to offer you love, basically. They want to offer you uh, uh, equal energy exchange cup of <clears throat> feelings. Like, hey, I want to tell you how I'm feeling, but I want to make sure you feel the same way. Um, this person could be very younger than you, very much younger than you. <clears throat> or they can be in the 30s, but seem young. Or they can be very young, but the old soul here. Not saying 30s is old. No, that's, no. Older, older soul. Um, what else? Spontaneity, just fun. Yeah, look at her. She looks like the fool here, ready to go off the cliff. You got the page of swords, also ready to jump off the cliff, it looks like. And then you got this this violent love. You know what? I will clarify. Hold on, let me clarify this thing. Okay, I'm going to clarify this violent love. Why is this violent love here? What the heck does that mean? I'm busting out my Kipper deck. Why is the violent love here for pile number ones? Person coming towards them and what they're offering. False person. Okay. Courthouse. All right, so this is someone who... Um, this is someone, okay, this is someone, violent love, okay, this can be like your ex, this could be someone who you don't want to hear from, maybe they're just very, per too persistent, too pushy, too aggressive for your taste. Courthouse, so yeah, just be careful, be mindful, caution, courthouse, violence, just be careful, you know, they might want to get lucky, they might be very selfish, you have that youth energy here. Uh, so your, your best advice is to be like the youth, I'm sorry, the page of swords, also very youthful. That's interesting. Um, pages, early stages, very young, immature. So, and they're wearing a mask, and so is this person right here. So there's a lot of mask wearing. So then this can just be, you know, just be careful. Don't get catfished. This person could be chatting with you, and you think there's some, somebody, but there might be somebody else. So just be careful. I mean, in all hindsight, they do want to offer you feelings. They do care deeply about you. Maybe they're afraid to show you exactly who they are because of rejection. Or maybe you won't like how they look. Maybe you won't even like how they act. Maybe you think that they're too immature. Maybe X, Y, and Z. So, yeah, do the right thing. Make sure you, make sure you find justice in this, you know. Make sure you know who, exactly who they are. Okay, friend? Make sure you balance those scales. So, in other words, if you feel a little... Like, oh my gosh, I don't know, something's robbing me, robbing me the wrong way. Something's just off. 
get that justice. Be the page of swords. Get that. Get those answers. Hanged man. Yeah, think about it. Need time to think about what you want. Need time to think about who you are. Okay, friend? So that's what I have for you. Take care. And if you want something more in-depth, if you want to know exactly who this is, I'm sure I can do better with a personal reading. Check out my Etsy, and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to interact with us in the comments so I can keep you in mind for future readings. And all the decks here are linked on my Etsy, eBay, Instagram, and some of these are independents. Uh, also on Etsy, and the mass-produced ones will be linked also with Amazon. Take care. I'll see you the next time. Alrighties. Alrighties, my friends. Pow number... Oh, wait, what? Okay, good. They're all here. Yes. Pow number two, hello. You chose the green tourmal I'm sorry, the green crystal quartz for prosperity. Let me know that you are here by telling by putting two across the board. Let me know what you like about pick a cards and how long you've been subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, what what you waiting for? What you what you waiting for? No, what are you waiting for? I post every other day or every day, depending on how many videos I have pre-recorded. Um, I, I love what I do here, so I hope that you can see that and I hope that you can come back for more. Also share the video if you find it useful or entertaining. So let's get into your who is coming towards you and what they are bringing to the table. You have 20s, pile number two. You have confidence. You have the lovers. Wee. You got reconciled love. Give without expectations. La Dama, which is a lady. Gray, endings are inevitable. Let's put this underneath. Okay, I'm going to shuffle some more, of course. All right, so before we start, let me tell you what decks I'm using. People like to ask me, and before I forget, this is my Who deck. For sale on Etsy, Instagram, eBay. This is the, oh my gosh, I forget what this is called. Uh, Prism, Prism, yeah. This, the Prism Tarot, Reconciled Love. That's my 53 Shades of Love, also on Etsy, eBay, and Instagram. My Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear Wisdom. This is the Mexican Bingo Loteria cards. Also, on, you can find this on Amazon. I also have t uh, maybe three or four left over for sale. I, f I found a whole bunch of them. I'm selling them on my Etsy shop as well. And then this is the Believe in Your Own Magic cards. All right, so for you, pound number, pound number two, this can be a Leo's coming in or a fire sign coming through. Um, yes, big head, big ego. Look at all that mane. Ah, yeah, they can have a big ego, very proud of themselves. 20s energy, they can be 20. They can be somebody who's younger, much younger than you. Or this can be an old soul but younger body or a young soul in an older body. Um, but I'm getting also uh, like the young adolescence energy here. You got the lovers. So lovers with reconciled. So this can be your ex coming through if you want to look at it that way because you have reconciliation. So this can be like an ex saying, you know, hey, let's, I, I want to approach you in a different way. I want to offer you something different. I want to see if you you know, like me again, or love me again, or miss me. Um, you have give without expectation, so this person wants to offer you for sure. They want to offer you a hand, a proposal. They want to treat you like the queen, treat you like a princess. You even have the princess right here. And then you have this La Dama, the lady. You got number three, Empress. So this person wants to take care, good care of you. This person wants to give to you, give. This person wants to give you the moon and stars. This person wants to show you how much they feel for you, how they feel for you, how much they love you, how much they miss you. You got endings are inevitable, so this is someone who you've had an ending with, but some kind of rebirth, reconciliation. You have uh, water here, pink skies, purple skies, pink and purple skies with water, so these two are mirroring each other, I'll show you. Looks like they're having some kind of, yeah, rebirth, rekindled love. So I would say this is someone who is really deep, deeply missing you. They're like, man, I, I just want a fresh start. You got three again, three, three. Um, so this person and half of six is three, the lovers. So you, you know, this is someone who wants a fresh beginning with you. All right, so what are they offering you? They're offering you a second chance or a third or fourth chance. 
um, they want to give to you something different. They want to show you that they can be different. Um, and it could also be that they forgive you now. Maybe you did something in the past and they're like, okay, I want another chance with you. However, this resonates for you because this is very general. Pile number two, what do they want to offer to you? Pile number two, what do they want to offer to you? You got cotton candy here. This is my colorology deck. Compassion, charm, and kindness. See? This is someone who's like ready to show you that they're they're here to commit lovers, reconciliation, give. I want to treat you like the the queen that you are, or the king. Maybe they want to treat treat you like the king that you are. Um, this wants to, this person wants to offer you a hand. Look at that corsage, the 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 ring right there. This person wants to show you that they mean commitment. They mean business. The sword breaking through, ace of swords breakthrough. Like I'm tired of us not talking. I'm tired of, of you being mad at me. I'm tired of so much distance between us. You got all the ocean here. All the oceans. These oceans. I want to dance the same dance with you. Like this is a man and woman dancing. And this, here you go. This prom, corsage, ring here. Holding hands, ready to dance. Peach, sincerity, gratitude, friendship. So this person wants another start. I'm telling you. They mean well. They want to, look, look. Seriously? It says it right there. Hands. See? 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 They want to offer you something. They want to, they want to put something in your hands. It could be a ring. It could be, uh, you know, a heart. It can be, it can be a love. They want to offer you a promise or um, some kind of, like, new start. I'm telling you, my friend. You got the King of Pentacles. You make me feel happy, comfortable, and protected. Freaking awesome. So this is my Tower of My Heart Oracle, also for sale on our Etsy shop and eBay. If you love color, you'll love our decks. I love color. I work with color every single day. I wouldn't have, have it in any other way. So check out our decks if you're interested. Three of Wands, for you, I would wait forever. See? It's like, okay, we were not talking for X, Y, and Z amount of years, months, weeks. I miss you. Let's, let's just bury, bury the hatchet. Get over the grudges. Uh, forgive me, I forgive you, let's move forward together. And then you have Eight of Wands. You sweep me off my feet every single time. That's what they want to do to you. Sunrise, warmth, change, stimulation. See? Oh my gosh! Check this out! And then you got the Queen of Swords. You got Sword here, Queen of Swords. Okay, hold on. A lot of oranges, yellows. Let me show you what we got here. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Alright, so you got... <clears throat> All this sun action here. Brand new start, brand new beginning. Sunrise, warmth, change, stimulation. Waiting, waiting for the ships to sail, waiting for the boat to come in. Oh my gosh. And then you got the three of wands waiting. See? Look at all these colors mimicking each other. Ha wow. Waiting. Wishing and waiting. Oh, my stars, they want a brand new beginning with you. I'm telling you. Pinks, purples, oranges, yellows, they're waiting. And she's waiting, three of wands. All right, what else? Waiting for reconciliation. So this person, you probably know them. You probably, were, maybe you guys were crushes and you guys didn't get to, you know, take it further. Maybe this is a, you know, an ex coming through. Maybe this is someone from your past life. You, who knows? Who knows? Maybe this is someone who seems so familiar to your soul. Um, I love that I can tell you anything. No holding back. This person feels they, like they can be themselves with you. Sunrise, warmth, change, stimulation. Yep, feeling warm in the heart. Feeling like they're complete when you are around. And eight of wands. You sweep me off my feet every single time. Fast movement. So they can come in and fast. They probably have a, a, a motor in their boat. They, they're tired of just sailing they just want they want to pick pick up pace. Okay, you got path here. So there is, you know, some road up ahead, but they will get to you when they they can. All right, so let's see. Um anything I want to sh uh shuffle for you? Let me pull some other cards. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to use my uh love lavender love dreams, my wishes and my winter's embrace oracles. What can you expect with this person coming your way? Eternity. See? Oh, that's what I'm saying. You probably met them in another lifetime. 
maybe they feel so familiar to you because you have met them before. Whether you met them physically in this body or it was something in the past, a spiritual past. Let's see. They want a new start. They want to cl clear away the debris, whatever problems you had in the past, whatever that was, whatever karmic cycles. They want a brand new sleep. I'm telling you, fresh new start. Pot number two, what else wants to come through for you? Protection. Okay. So that's like saying, I want, if we're going to make this work, I want it to be, I want it to count. Excitement. I want it to be the last thing. Oh, excitement. Okay. I want, if we're going to make this um, happen again, I want it to count. I want it to, to um, be for something. I don't want to waste our time. Look at all these animals here. Pri this is primal love. Primal. This prim primal. You're like the leader of the pack, or you guys are part of a pack. Pack. Cassette tape. Truth and value in what you say. So this person wants to communicate with you. You do have the Eight of Wands. This person really wants to help you or uh, come together with you, and they want to create a new life. They want to hug you. They're on their way to you. See, you got the trains, planes, automobiles. Now you have the um, the boats. Now you got the, the, the airplane. You're still the one. And then you have innovation. They want to create a new life with you. Okay, friends? So that's what I have for you. Thank you for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. And don't forget to interact in the comments so I can keep you in mind for future readings. And I do personal readings. And I have a playlist full of other picking cards. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. What's going on, pile number three? Hello. Thank you for choosing the, ro choosing the rose quartz. Oh, the love quartz. Sorry, the love quartz, rose quartz, whatever. I don't know. Pink. The pink. Pink quartz. All right, so let's get into this. Let's see who is approaching you, who's coming towards you, and what do they want to offer you? What is it? Is it love, romance, drama, friendship, uh, business partnership? Let's see. So if you're um, looking for more pick cards, I do have a plethora of them in my playlist, and I do personal readings, and all the decks that I'm using will be links below from various uh, Etsy shops and Amazon. Okay, this is my Who Dex Sense of Humor. Ooh, sexual. Okay. There's some kind of chemistry here. Culinary Arts. This is my Occupations deck. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Wands. Oh, okay, there's chemistry and commitment here. Awesome. Okay, No Show. This is the Red Hot Love Oracle. This is a Flaming Hot Love Oracle. Twin Flame, okay. Feelings in Bloom. This says Guilty. You have the Harp. And you have Garden and Flower. Oh, interesting, okay. Something lovely will grow from this and be honest with yourself. Okay, I'll put these like that. And, of course, I'm going to add some more cards for some more context. All right. So, okay, this is somebody who you've definitely had a relationship with. You have number five plus one, six. I'm getting lovers here. Seven, take away one is six, lovers. Interesting. These two cards have that. If you break them down, you get a six. Um, okay. Okay. So this person is, okay, so they have, it could be class, class clown energy, you know, center of attention, making everybody laugh, fun, fun personality, good sense of humor, they know how to lighten up the energy uh, up the room. You have sec sexual here, so this is like someone who could be very uh, attractive or appealing, or you just, there's a lot of chemistry with this person. Culinary arts, they can do that for a living, or that's just who they are, they like to create things. Nine of Pentacles, yeah, creating their garden, maintaining their garden. A lot of garden action here with these cards here, a lot of oranges. You know what? I will pull my I will pull my Autumn's Delight deck because we're we're getting into the the change here. Um, something lovely will grow, so there is change. Hold on. All right, so I got my 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 change deck, my Autumn's Delight Oracle, so that we can figure out what the heck is this is talking about. So this, this someone is offering you a new life. This someone is offering you growth, development. Um, a way to, uh, an opportunity to develop, to grow with them. To create something new, to cultivate. So, and you got four of wands, stability. So this person, I feel that they, you know, this is, wow, I feel like this is new energy, to be honest. I think this is new energy. 
Yeah, you got no show, so you've probably been waiting for the for for a romantic partner for the longest, and then this person comes through. You got the twin flame here. So you've probably been single for the longest. There you go. So you meet somebody new. You got guilty. I make past peace with the past. So you know you getting away from you know um, what's it called um, old wounds or just limiting beliefs or things that you held on from the past. Moving forward. Yes, okay, moving forward, creating a new life for yourself, cultivating new magic, a new dynamic of your new connection, breaking old cycles, whatever happened in the past with the previous people, you're, you're, you're cutting that away, it's dying away. Now you're, and you're stepping into more abundance, more growth, more self-development. <sighs> Nine of Pentacles, feeling fine, feeling so good about yourself, you get the sexual energy, Okay, what is this garden? What are you growing? I think this is, you know, to be honest, I feel like this is stemming from self-love. Feeling really good about yourself, Nine of Pentacles. Feeling fine, feeling confident, independent, happy. You're, you're loving the life that you're creating for yourself. You feel, yeah, very sexual, very confident, independent, like I said, very brave. Then you're setting up this strong foundation for yourself. So because of what you're putting it, pouring into yourself, you're filling that void. It's like, you know, how they say, how are you supposed to love somebody else if you don't love yourself? So you fill, build a strong foundation. You fill in your own gaps. You fill in your own void. And then you attract somebody new. Look at that. The universe says, here you go. You did the work. You healed your past. You went through your, your, your uh, tumultuous, traumatizing past or your, the past of, you know, having to deal with people who are not for you those exes goodbye or if you've never been with someone before you that's no longer you're no longer waiting for, for that perfect person they're coming in garden growth develop more development love someone loving you you love in them get a lot of garden action here flower be honest with yourself now you are here to say i know what i'm worthy of now you can laugh that can be your energy as well you know all in all i feel like you're this is you coming in <laughs> i feel like this is you this is you saying, I'm offering love to myself. I'm offering, I'm taking care of myself. I'm growing myself. I'm developing within myself. I'm changing. You got culinary arts. She's like putting little uh, little plates together of, of delicious food. And she has ro a rose in her hands with light around it. So I feel like this is all you. You're offering something to yourself. And now it doesn't stop there. It's not like you're going to be in love with yourself. You're going to just make, be making love to yourself. It's saying because of you putting love into yourself, putting love into your own cup, filling your own, own, own voids and, and, and filling your heart, you're strumming your own harp. And now you're welcoming in this new love, twin flame, someone who's just like you. You're growing this yourself. All right. What's changing for you? Who is this person coming towards you? Tell me more about this person coming towards you. This is also for sale, my Autumn Sally Oracle. And this is the Whispers of Autumn from another creator. Lovely creator over on Etsy. Okay, let's see. What what else? What's happening here? Who's coming towards you? Pot number three. Pot number three. Expulsion. Oh, my stars. This is somebody old. Something that, that didn't work for you. This is like an old version of you. I'm telling you. This, your twin flame, this is like your old... The twins, right? The old view versus the new you. So you're, you're expelling things that don't serve you, but you're holding space for something new. So somebody else is going to take over the old version of you. Take over that. But they're gonna, you're going to have an exchange of someone who's good for you this time. So, out with the old, in with the new is what I'm saying. Um, okay, let's see. What is this new person offering you? What is this new person about? What is this new person about? Discovery. So that is someone who is... Um, someone who did the shadow work. Someone who... Yeah, okay. I, I feel like this is all you, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like this is all you. You're marrying yourself. But that's not a bad thing. That's not a bad thing. 
This is like someone who found them their themselves. They were stuck in a, in a hole in the darkness and the funk and and sadness. Now you can actually be happy. You follow your sexual desires, your sexual callings, your your inner compass. And now you're coming out and you're feeling like a badass witch. You're like, come on. Yep, it's all me. All me. This is all about me. You're obsessed with yourself now. Before you couldn't stand yourself, perhaps. B before you had no show, there was like a, a sense of, of, I don't know, emptiness. You didn't know who you were. Look, fear. You feared something. You're like, I don't like this this old version of me. I'm, I'm releasing. I'm re releasing that what doesn't serve me. Okay. Strength. Now you are stronger than ever before. You know, that's funny because I did get... Wait a minute. What did I get? Oh, okay, okay. I got um, 53. And I was thinking 8, 8 strength. And look, 53, 8 strength. And then you get it here. Strength. So, um, yeah, you're, you're stronger than ever before. You're smarter than ever before. You're wiser. You're more on top of the game. Now, you're, now, you, know, now you know what you want. Now you know what you're worth. Shedding tree. See, this is what I'm saying. You're expelling something uh, for, uh, for a part of you, and now you're welcoming something new. So you know what that's saying? There's going to be space for someone new to come in and sweep you off your feet. Eight. Eight strength. Eight. Eight of wands. Let go. Autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let go. See, that's what I'm saying. You have let something go, and now you get to freak. You, I don't know. You chose a battle. You let, sh you let ish go. It didn't serve you. It could have been the ex. Let the ex go. Or part of you that you felt was... was ugly or weighing you down you let it go and now you're starting something new with someone new refreshing news see new new i said new twice and now you got news smile something refreshing is com coming awesome <clears throat> let's see okay oh we said new okay so we, just, we said new three times okay let's see what this new person you got innovation this is a new creation here what you're cultivating this yourself. You're growing something, creating something, enhancing something, creating, creating your own music. Okay, who's this new person? Tell me about their energy. Who's this new person since you, you are holding space for them? Now you love yourself. Now you can love somebody else. I promise to be faithful now and forever. The Hierophant. Ooh, snap. So this is going to be a spiritual connection here. Who's this new person coming in? Someone who wants commitment. Somebody who's not like the people who've dated in the past. If you have any <clears throat> past relationships, this person is somebody completely different. They have their own values, their own traditions. Very spiritual. Who's this new person coming towards you? The mask, so you don't know who they are just yet. You don't know who they are, so this is a surprise. You probably never met them before. Their hidden identity. You probably don't know who they are. You will. Somebody you not you wouldn't have expected. They're probably very opposite of you. Mysterious high priestess energy as well. King of Wands. Okay, so someone. Oh, okay. Wow, a lot of fire, desire, passion. They take the, they take the lead. They lead the dance floor. Oh, baby, it turns me on when you take control. Oh, wow. King of Wands with that sexual chemistry. Oh, snap. Okay. Who's this new person coming through? Who's this person? What are they offering you? Who's this person? Royal Blue, dependability, reassurance, and confidence. Yeah, we did. Okay. We got the confidence with the eight, eight of eight for the strength for the lion. So this is this can be a fire sign, or this just it can be what they're carrying with them when they approach you. And very ambitious, very driven. Reassurance. So this is someone who's going to reassure you that yeah you, you yeah I feel like this is going to be someone who's going to build your confidence. Reassurance, give you compliments. You know like like. Oh, what? What are you worried about? You're beautiful. What are you worried about? You're fine as heck. What are you worried about? You're t intelligent. What are you worried about? You're beautiful inside and out. What are you worried about? Like this someone, someone's going to build your character up. And Nine of Pentacles, that's probably how you're feeling right now. And they're going to continue making you feel that way. All right? What else is this person offering you? Pot number three. Six of Cups. This could be someone from your past. Or someone who seems very familiar. I love looking at our photos. We have many good memories. Someone who can seem familiar. Or maybe you do have a, a past with them. Book. Wisdom. Knowledge. 
someone much wiser than you, someone who might teach you a few lessons, they might teach you, might guide you, king of pentacles, someone who's worthy, I'm sorry, someone who has a lot of money, wealth, wealthy, and crow, yeah, crow with the mask, that's someone very mysterious, but they're wealthy. And last one, we have time. So time will tell when they come into your life. And it could be that you guys know each other from another past lifetime. All right, so that's what I'm getting for you. You, you, wow, you, I think you're in good hands here. Nine of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Uh, you got the royalty blue here, so royal, so they make a lot of good money. What else? Growing a garden together. Be honest with yourself. I feel this is all, oh, wow. Nine of Pentacles, wait, hold on. You got the Nine of Pentacles with the flower. Yeah, and then she has a rose in her hand right here. I feel like this is all your energy. This is like you, you cultivating something within, building yourself up, finding your worth, finding what you deserve, filling your own cup of love, and then all of a sudden, you're not even looking for love, and it comes in. You're not even anticipating it. You're looking in the other direction. You're probably thinking, oh, woe is me. Not, not, nobody's going to love me. And, and, and look, what do you have here? Is someone coming in who loves you. So you letting go. Yeah, you letting go. Letting go. Okay, nobody's going to love me. Then you let that go. Yeah, I'll find somebody. You know what? I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. And then there you go. Someone comes in. <laughs> Universe has a funny way of working, right? Now you hear music in your ears. Ah, like the movies. When people fall in love, you hear music. Ah. And then you have Solidity, Saddle Brown. Solidity, Resilience, and Trustworthy. So this is someone who's just for you. And then what do you see? The Empress. Darn it. I knew she was going to come out. I knew it. The Empress with the two beautiful ladies here. Look at that. I will always love you and take good care of you. See? And you got three. Three. Oh my gosh. Wait a minute. Didn't I see three here? I don't even know. I thought I... Oh, three... 53, the harp here. Okay, what else? Okay, the uh, Empress came out again. I'm sorry, the Empress came out in pile number two, I believe. Okay, so this person wants to nourish you, take care of you, okay? They want you to feel that feminine energy that you are, and, you, and it's coming out three times, or a lot of times over, actually. Nine of Pentacles, you feeling yourself, my friend Empress. Take Good, good job taking care of yourself, because look what you have manifested. Oh my gosh. All right. Thank you for watching. You take care. I have a personal reading for you if you wish. I, it's on my Etsy shop. And I also do uh, pick cards here often. So come back for another one in a few days, every two days. And um, all the decks we used are down below. My Colorology. This is my Tower of My Heart. This is my Flaming Love Dreams. For, I'm sorry, Flaming Hot Love. Winter's Embrace. Feelings in Bloom. Red Hot Love career and my who and autumn's delight all on my etsy ebay and instagram take care